Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EEIK WM France deck G G45 game with Gray AQTY, so I guess AQD, and Montu. So, uh, Montu streams at twitch.tv slash gamer Montu, although I don't know if he's streaming this game. Can someone take a look and uh, let me know? So, uh, looking at this first pile, Commercial Baker is really good. We've got Field Warden here, Patron, Coal Investor. Some quite good cards here. Clay Starter with Frame Builder is decent. We've also got Maid. Maid plus Clay Starter is a combo. Um, commercial Baker is really good. Coal Investor is pretty good. So, probably one of these three. Uh, commercial Baker is great. I could definitely take Commercial Baker. Although, passing Field Warden is sad. But uh, Commercial Baker is really fantastic. So, I'm going to take that here. Oh, man. Farm Steward with Clay Starter. It's pretty strong. Hill Farmer. Hill Farmer likes plowing fields early. But uh, yeah, no way I'm passing Farm Steward here. Not ever, not after having passed uh, Field Warden. Yep. And what do we get back? Don't really want Magician. Good Friend would be fine. Hill Farmer's not coming back. It's too good. Field Warden. Haven't passed Field Doctor. Yeah, passing Hill Farmer to Field Doctor would be quite strong. But Field Warden doesn't really want Field Doctor. Or Field Warden doesn't really want Hill Farmer, so. So, things that help me get three stone would be nice here. Anything that helps me get that stone oven at that bit easy, easier. Why take Commercial Baker over Warden? I really like Commercial Baker. I think it's quite a good card. I think especially as like a pack one, pick one, it's really good. Um, because it makes some cards just so much better. Like for example, I can take Acquirer here. And Commercial Baker getting me the Stone Oven could do some silly stuff with Acquirer. Yeah, Acquirer is really good. Uh, I think it depends on the game. Uh, Field Warden, uh, Field Warden will sometimes be better, but you like Hell Bandit over Acquirer. Uh, Hell Bandit can be really good, but it's not better every game. Uh, Acquirer is really strong. Acquirer is like overpower four at this point because it it lets you do some really silly stuff. Yeah, Acquirer, obviously, if I get the the Cooking Hearth, then I can buy, um, I can buy cattle. But if I don't get the Cooking Hearth early, Acquirer can buy me my stone for my Commercial Baker uh, stone oven. Permaculturist looks pretty good here. Permaculturist with Commercial Baker, then we really like anything that requires three grain fields. Yeah, permaculturist can do some silly stuff with commercial baker. <sighs> with acquirer, yeah. Um not guaranteed, though, I don't think, Medino. I think, I think uh, it depends on if the fireplace and the uh, hearth gets built, right? I'm, I'm lower on Hill Bandit than I was. 
I got I've gotten burned by it a couple times. Of course, I've had a couple games where it's gone to my opponents and been incredibly good. But uh, yeah, so we're looking for. Um, Hmm, do I take Clay Starter with Farm Steward? If I could get Clay Starter and Frame Builder, maybe I'd consider it, but. <sighs> Clay Starter lets me ignore wood for a while, which is an option. Problem is I'm gonna want a family growth more than more than once, so I don't want to immediately clay starter and then farm steward. Like that's that's too much. Unless I got a card like evening prayer or whatever, could steal it on start player. But nah. Um, I do like powerhouse. If I could set up powerhouse, and that could pay for my acquirer for a while, but. Yeah, I don't really want Oms Collector. Yeah, it's kind of clay, clay Starter by default just because... I mean, Powerhouse could be interesting with uh, Acquirer. And because um, like Powerhouse can get me the two food each round and then I can buy goods with it. But So this is just Food Critic and I don't really think there's anything else to seriously consider. I don't know if I'll play Food Critic or not, but... Big bread. The nice thing about Acquire is it does get me all the different goods to eat. Bake bread, convert animals, vegetables, or building resources to food. So six bonus points for seven different goods. So that's four, three animals, two crops, fishing, and one building resource. So we can potentially get six food. Do I have to pay the food or it just goes there, right? One food from the supply. Yeah. Cowboy lets me set up breeding cattle. That's true. Although with the choir, it's sometimes diff it's sometimes difficult to buy both the cattle and not having not have to eat any of them. Okay. This doesn't really look like a Tavern Keeper game, and I don't want to play Master Forester, so I'm going to take Unicycle Driver. Uh, it's unlikely that I play it, but maybe I get the perfect miner. So Animal Farm is pretty good with Acquirer. So here's where I wish I had taken Cowboy, because then I could actually hold the two different animal, animal types on my farm. Straw Thatched Hut plus uh, Commercial Baker is a thing as well. Oh, man. Yeah, both of those cards could be quite strong. So with Animal Farm, I need to actually be able to hold two different animal types before I can play it. And then after that, I can acquire a uh, sheep or a cattle each round and then turn it into a guest token. Uh, Straw Thatched Hut lets me build a bunch of clay rooms for quite, e quite easily with Commercial Baker and Permaculturist. Animal Farm requires me fencing or building some stables, which is not awful. Will Straw Thatched Hut wheel? I guess that's the question. If Straw Thatched Hut will wheel, then I can take Animal Farm here. Speculated on Tavern Keeper there, yeah. Well, so the question for me is, does Straw Thatched Hut come back out of this pile? Hmm, baking tray. I could take baking tray too. Hmm. Like baking tree on the rebound after taking straw thatched hut would be fine. And I'm going to take animal farm here. Animal farm just lets you do some really silly stuff. Especially with Acquirer. Let's me sit on three rooms for a while. 
So, uh, I'm really looking for anything that lets me hold animals. So, stable is actually an option here. Three wood into start player stable in round one would be fine. Not a great card, but... Nothing else is really jumping out at me. Lasso would be okay. Full bottomed wig is nice, but I think I'm going to take stable here. Just because it does let me play animal farm really early. And then animal yard, okay. Another way to hold animals. It's a bit better than stable. Wood card is good, but yeah, animal yard looks good here. Let's me hold the breeding pair. Cowbell is in. <laughs> so I took stable, and then I saw two war cards that are way better that let me also hold animals. So that's too bad. Uh, cornucopia is interesting because I can get the the vegetable very early with acquirer. Uh, of course, cowbell lets me hold animals, but animal yard does that as well. Sunday school is an interesting option here. Sunday school clay starter plus farm steward with the same action is an option or a commercial baker permaculturist together. Yeah, I'm interested in Cornucopia, but Sunday School looks really good for this hand. There are, there are two really good synergies. Clay Starter, Farm Steward, or Commercial Baker or Acquirer. Or Commercial Baker or Permaculturist. Yeah. As much as I'd like to take Cornucopia, unfortunately. I think I have to take Sunday School here. No, that's old. The unicycle driver. I, I fulfilled that rule. I think Animal Farm is going to be really good here, Sid. It's going to... I'm going to be able to play Animal Farm like in round five, potentially. If I get... If I get the cooking hearth early enough... It's, I'm going to be able to play Animal Farm to grow in like round five. Is, um... Straw thatched hut planted fields or plowed fields? Because I think permaculturist is planted fields, but it's obviously not plowed fields. <laughs> Two plowed field requirement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is slower. But, I mean, ob obviously with permaculturist commercial baker, you can get a silly amount of, of grain. For straw thatched hut. So it is good. So we're certainly not building wood rooms here. There's basically no line in which we buy build wood rooms. I will need a lot of clay. Because I need to build my major improvements. And my clay rooms. Although clay starter doesn't require clay for the reno. So that's nice. Yeah, if, if Gray got Magician and Hill Farmer, then Gray, of course, will set up for Straw Thatched Hut, but... So this hand kind of likes a... Uh... Oh, uh, okay, so no, Strathatch Hut did not wheel, but extra effort is pretty good here. I can use it to build the uh, cooking hearth in round two or the fireplace in round one. Well, uh, whatever in round two. I'm not going to build the fireplace in round one. Not with Acquirer, not in play. So unfortunately it did not wheel. But we can still do some good stuff. Uh, I didn't get a plow. 
So rot and plow seems okay here. Because I don't actually care about sowing on fields all that much. I care about it for vegetables, but not otherwise. So I think rot and plow is okay in this game. Yeah, but then I still need to plow two fields. Like, I think... I think the fact that Animal Farm could let me grow, like imagine it's a family growth round seven game. I think Animal Farm beats the straw thatch tuck combo. Just cause I'm gonna be able to fence 15, like in round nine or round 11 when everybody else is struggling if it's a late family growth game. And of course, fencing earlier is better with Acquirer. Two food for a guest every round. Yeah. But I mean, that's... That's good. Like, I can... Even if I take Commercial Baker every round, like... You can take Commercial Baker twice and then... And then, um... And then so bake once and there's, you know, a ton of food. Uh, don't really care about any of these. Schnapps Distillery seems pretty bad with Rotten Plow. I think I'm unlikely to play Oms in this game because I do want to play Acquirer early, so we'll take Worm Bait. If I'm going to do a start player in Stage 1, I'm going to want to play a card like Extra Effort or potentially Sunday School. All right, resize these. And we start in fourth, but uh, honestly, three wood into start player is not bad with this hand. With sheep coming round one, I almost wonder if I should first move two clay. I could first move two clay into start player extra e effort. But if I do that and then I don't get the um, start player action back, that would be really bad. Yeah. Gray's trying to decide what to do in round one, it looks like. Reedstone food. Um, I could play round one acquirer. The problem with round one acquirer is I can only acquire once before I need to have the cooking hearth in play or a fireplace in play. So I would basically be forced to spend my entire round two doing that. Which, if I played Acquirer and then didn't get the two clay back, which would be pretty unlikely, that would be bad. And you know what? Looks like I'm going to be pushed onto Expensive Ox. So yeah, two clay into Start Player looks good. Three wood into Rotten Plow of the Mill. I'm serious. <laughs> that three wood would be for Animal Yard. Yeah, that's right. Monty's got Magician. Well, we're going to be nice to Gray here. Gray gets... Reedstone food into expensive awk. Uh, Montu, so we're only really worried about a cutie uh, start playering. Montu will probably magician. I guess Montu might start player. Gray's got patron. Yeah, good. Yeah, there's some good cards there. So Gray didn't even take field warden. So that means uh, a cutie or Montu ended up with field warden. Because commercial baker, patron, and field warden were all in the same pack. All right, so we can start player extra effort here. Mm 
Build the two clay fireplace. And then I'll go ahead and cheap occupation acquirer. <laughs> nice to get first fireplace out before hill bandit. Yeah, that's true. Definitely true. So second move three wood would be good. Uh, expensive occupation. Uh, I don't know. I can't expensive walk. Yeah, it's really three wood that I want. And if I don't get three wood, I guess I'm taking two wood. Yeah, because I can't spend my second food. I need to keep the food for acquirer. But yeah, acquirer round two is not bad. Although I don't have the cooking hearth yet. So that that's a, it's of course costing me one food per round. Three wood got taken. Too bad. So sad. With er early sheep is helping. That's for sure. Yep. The early sheep definitely helps. Gray plays hill bandit. So if Gray has a four wood occupation, if Gray first picked a four wood occupation, I'll be pretty scared. That'll be quite scary. Because uh, he's a little behind on wood right now, but if he has the wood, then that'll be really good. Yeah, two times read stone food into expensive awk. Pretty good. Pretty good. But if a cutie builds before Gray and Gray ends up fourth in the family growth queue, then that, you know, offsets it somewhat. But start player park cemetery. Montu immediately plows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess he's risking his magician. You know what? That might have been a little too greedy by Montu. Because his magician's at risk now. Someone could first action take three food. Or a cutie could do it with his second move. But yeah, his two plowed fields for a straw thatched hut. The thing is, his his traveling player's move is at risk. A cutie first move plows. Whoa. Whoa. Um, yeah, it should still be one stone. Want to playing coal investor. Oh, I acquire an A, of course. Um, I could do that. I could attack Montu's traveling players. Uh, three food traveling players into start player. Grabbing the, um, animal yard. Extra effort can sheep steal. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start player second move. Start player animal yard second move is my plan. Uh, acquire. Yeah, I did. I uh, acquired the, the cattle. So then round four will be take the sheep and probably take wood again. Getting more wood for animal farm would be a good option. Or maybe play something like Sunday school. Although I'm already the start player. I don't really want to play Sunday school yet. Hearth upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, hearth upgrade or wood. Both seem good. Round 
Round four, acquire A, and I didn't need to spend three food, only two food. Uh, sheep seem okay, but if they get swept, I'm going to be pretty sad. Yeah, I, I don't think I can risk the sheep getting swept. Whoops, too much. Should have nine food. So second action, three wood or major minor cooking hearth upgrade. Breeding cattle is nice. Yes, breeding cattle is very nice. Um, oh, you're saying because of... Well, I could just acquire a sheep next round. Yeah, if I only had one more wood, I could play Animal Farm. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll probably just acquire a sheep or something next round, right? I'll breed the cattle and then eat the cattle and then buy a sheep. Ooh, gray foregoing the four wood action to take six clay. Huh. Interesting. Wow. So I just need Montu to skip out on four wood and then I get four wood here, which would be pretty great. I'd be very happy to get four wood. Mm hmm. Cool. I will be very happy to take four wood here. Then I feed four, breed my cattle. And then start of round five, I eat the cattle, acquire a boar. Want to not sowing grain in stage one means you might not have straw thatched hut. Well, I mean... Montu getting his magician killed by me taking three food traveling players first move might mean. <laughs> That's what I would guess. Although with Gray's Hill Bandit, Gray might have planned for... Ooh, woodcart here for Gray. Very nice. So he just needs uh, six wood to, to wheel. Although a cutie can take the six wood for sure, or the three wood for sure. Because then a cutie can first action build next round. Montu can't build because of uh, he needs food. Yeah, so that's that's a mistake by a cutie, I think we can say. No, oh, lucky for Gray he gets to take eight wood in round five. Man. I gotta remember when I'm playing with less experienced players, play Nur. Play Nur. Be able to start player into six wood as many times as you can. Because new players don't value wood highly enough. Alright, so I'll eat the cattle. Buy a boar. Get net plus one food. So I think I like uh, playing Animal Farm into, um, oh, I wanted to start player into Cooking Hearth, but I can't do that. Yeah, then first move, start player snack time. Yeah, that happens when you're not really that experienced. You don't know how to get, um, you don't know how to get jumped. You don't know how to not get jumped. So I'm going to play Major Minor just to guarantee that I get Animal Farm out here. And then we should definitely switch our guest token to the animal farm. There it is. Mm 
wants to, doesn't like Animal Farm. Guest represents the animal. Is this a reference to the book? Exactly. Yeah. You, you, perfect summary, HIKLJ. We'll turn a boar into a guest token. Because absolute worst case scenario, we can just continuously take one cheat. into a guest and then we could play expensive occupation here and we could play maybe clay starter or I could play commercial baker mm. I honestly could play food critic here food critic would be okay although commercial baker gives me something really good to use with my third action each round I think I'm going to play Commercial Baker here. And then two food by a boar again. Should buy cattle. Oh, in case, and then I can eat it. I'm going to eat it and take two sheep next round, do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although I have more actions than anyone else. I think I can leave the sheep until round seven. Yeah. You're right about that, Sid. I think I'll probably take the three sheep, though, in round seven. Because nobody else is threatening my sheep right now. But you're right. It doesn't make a difference this round, but I, it'll make a difference next round. It might make a difference this round, but I think it's unlikely. Because I don't think Gray is building the cooking hearth into um, taking sheep with hill farmer in play. Like I'm pretty sure he's gonna plow a field if he wants the food. If gray hearth I will take two sheep. But I'm gonna take the hearth, right? Because I wanna start eating my cattle at a better better rate. So I think first move hearth here is okay. Also it protects the sheep. I guess it's possible that Gray renos, Gray renos and builds the fireplace. But that would make his his room really late. Make his room really, really late. Hawk clay starter here so I can set up farm steward. Yeah, I like that idea. Hmm. Or I could play Sunday School. No, all the improvement actions are taken. Oh, Reno's not even out yet. Why am I talking about Reno?
Did gray take plus clay F? Um, he didn't announce it, but I think he did because he was at six before. So I'm pretty sure he did take it. So I won't take the wood. I'm hoping to get six wood next round. Kind of what a last move clay starter, to be honest. Maybe I last move take, um, last move take, uh, take three grain. There's also going to be three stone available. Three stone is pretty good for my stone oven with commercial baker. So maybe gray will take the three wood and then I will last move commercial bake. And then I can take, uh, and then I can take, uh, three stone next round. Um, FG to acquire A. Why did I just spend two food? Uh, clay starter, you have to pay a food to Reno. So I spent one for the Auk and then one once for Clay Starter. So I just realized there's no pressure on Montu's family growth. So Montu could take six wood here. Oh, he's taking the clay instead. Well, the three stone is really good, but I don't really think I want to pass six wood. Actually, maybe the three stone is so good it's worth passing six wood here. I do have commercial baker in play. Yeah, maybe that's how good the three stone is for me. So then I can take three, three sheep and then occupation farm steward last action. And it's unlikely that gray will have time to, gray has to build, gray has to build. So this secures family growth round eight, and I can play the um, play the um, stone oven when I do so. Uh, stone might come back, but you know what? I need to three sheep and then farm steward, right? H I K L J. I need to play farm steward here, but farm steward here before Gray has the chance to, um, because I can't. Uh, yeah, I only have one spare action exactly. All right, so we're taking the sheep, we eat a cattle, and then the sheep goes on our farm, and the sheep becomes, so this, I think this is how this works. So I ate a cattle and two sheep, and one sheep goes to guest. One sheep becomes a guest. Mm -hmm. Gray isn't. Yeah, with Woodcart, that's a good point. Although this does let him triple build. With Woodcart in play already, triple build seems like a pretty good option. Especially if you look at Montu's farm where he doesn't look like he's going to build another room for a while. Unless you think he's going to use um, Straw Thatch Tut. And I mean, I certainly don't look like I'm going to build for a bit. I need to take Reed first, as far as he knows. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. So 
Six clay over six would confirm. That's a good, yeah, that's a good point. Two hand. Feed four, breed a cattle. Imagine if growth were late, yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't Grey Reno and Fence 15? Um, no, I think probably Grey's gonna build a bunch of rooms. The problem is if, like I kinda like your fencing idea, Medino, except the fact that I have a vested interest in taking like any two animal pile. Want to build the clay oven. Uh, stone oven is not safe, but gray also needs to build. So I think I can take four wood here. Yeah, animal farmer kill. Animal farmer is going to suck all the animals out of the game. Yeah. Gray plows. Yeah, he's trying to delay his building as long as possible. So I don't need to family growth yet, but I do need to turn a cattle into a guest token. And then I can do... Maybe I play food critic here, because then when I bake, I can activate food critic. I mean, it certainly does wreck the animal economy, but it does. There are lot. There are lots of cards that wreck the animal economy. I don't. Uh, animal Farm is probably the most egregious of them, but I should have minus six wood. Did I miss something? Best hill farmer ever. Did I take six wood? Do I have six too? I have six wood, too much wood by six. First action. It doesn't show me taking them on my farm. Like it shows me removing them on the board, but not adding them on the farm. But I may have. We can count my wood actions. So I took two wood in round two and then spent it on so I should have zero wood there and then I took sheep round four and then second move I took four wood so that's four wood total and then four wood and then I played cooking hearth I took green. Yeah, I have, you're right. I have too much wood by six. And I'll fan the growth. Build the stone oven. Bake two. And then food critic gets a grain. Should have seven wood. Yep. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, three food to acquire a cattle, round nine. No one's policing wood at all. Yeah, everyone's doing their own thing. Hey, Tim Pembo, thank you so much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Enjoy, enjoy spamming your wells, which hopefully should come out soon. And uh, let's throw some, whoops, I can't spell. Let's throw some politicians in the chat, some big chests out for uh, Tim Pembo. Thanks so much. Yeah, Montu's got Coal Investor coming in too. Broom or Market Woman? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yes, look at all, look at all those puffed out chests. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, um, we're not going to build a, another room. So, th so probably we're pretty likely to f try to fence, even with Rotten Plow, I'm probably just going to try to fence five. And then, uh, if we can make, uh, fen if we can fence 15 covering eight spaces, that looks good. Just getting ready for the well. That's right. Yeah. Kitty's gonna start player Hayloft. So start player Hayloft into uh into six wood looks okay. Well you need to build four stables. Did it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Akuti, yeah, Akiti plays broom. It's just that we were chatting around it. Although market woman should be market woman, right? A N, because it's a singular. You're not pl you're not using an occupation to become multiple people. Not usually, at least. Uh, not too much on this board, to be honest. Uh, plowing a field seems like an okay option. This seems like a round in which I'm, go I'm going to, um, probably commercial bake. So plowing seems okay. Plow, read stone food, maybe. Read stone food to think about reno to a stone house. It is spelled correctly. Yes, it's just uh, an awkward phrase, I guess you would say. However, you, however you say it. Cheese fondue for gray. I would have liked cheese fondue, honestly. Cheese fondue would have been pretty good for me. Not that I would have had time to play it yet, but I've got cattle. Market woman will be in G9. <laughs> and it'll work off of uh, whenever you take grain, you get two vegetables. 
could sow vegetables before playing Rotten Plow. Yeah, I was thinking about that, especially because I can bake as well. You see seven crane. <laughs> no, that's going to be in G23, where the power creep has happened so much that, like, we have to have different, like, EIK is, like, legacy. Like, nobody plays that anymore because all the cards are too weak. And, like, every winning farm is above 60 points. <laughs> That's uh, quite early fencing for a cutie. Unfortunately for them, I'm going to take the animals, so they're not uh, really going to have a chance to get there. Uh, vegetable seems okay here. Yeah. And then maybe commercial bake. I kind of want to take two sheep, but I could commercial bake and sow. That would be an okay round. Harvest a vegetable. Yeah, that would be fine. And then I try to take three stone next round. Three stone or four wood. Uh, three stone, and then there'll be three good wood actions. Four wood, three wood, three wood. Yep, yeah, so I should get one of them back. Um, I don't know if I should take the two sheep this round, Sid. That's what I'm wondering about. I mean, it denies it from a cutie. But also, commercial baker is nice as well. Agricola 3.0 categories have no cap. <laughs> Cutie's going to play layabout. Yeah, because I'm going to get one of these actions next round, right? I'll get the sheep or the boar. Do you need to feed my family for the last three harvests yesterday with Renegade and Timmy? Like Timmy. That Timmy? Am I baking two here? Bake... One. I think I'll just bake one. Yeah, commercial bake and then so bake one. And then I feed six. Feed six, harvest, breed the cattle. Eat a acquire a net plus f a to food critic. Put the cattle down here. Want to family growth. So yeah, I like three stone here. It gets me the well. Yeah, some of it. Yeah, some of it is is power creep. Some of it's a, that the players play, player base has gotten better, and also I think the meta has shifted to more non-interactive strategies. In that we're not like super cutthroat with each other because we play like hundreds and hundreds of games. So if every time I played with Pain and Wallfly, we were super cutthroat with each other, then that's like a lot less fun. Don't have to feed your family a big one. Oh, so it's like Timmy, like. Um, I don't know. Is Timmy the poor kid in, um, oh, what is it? Christmas Carol? Is that the name of the, the, the poor son? Who's on crutches? Uh, looks like the wood actions are keeping, continuing to go all the way around. So maybe take two boar with my next move. Um, yeah, let's police the animals a little bit. So we eat a cattle, a boar. And then the boar will go to my guest token. 
What a literary theme stream or well into kids. <laughs> Manservant for gray. So last action, Reno for gray. So building the well sounds like a good plan. Uh, if there's six wood available, we can start player into six wood. Start player rotten plow into six wood. Oh, Christmas Carol is from Dickens. Tiny Tim, that's it. Tiny Tim's the name. See, when I hear Timmy, I think of uh, South Park. Timmy! <laughs> One of my favorite parts about A Stick of Truth was that Timmy's your fast travel. Like you, you, you know how like video games have fast travel options. Timmy is the way that you fast travel around the map. Like he hangs out and and <laughs> drives you around. Um, yeah, Star Player to Six Woods available, so I'm gonna build the well because I think Ray will Reno. And I need to add a guest token. Four for guest. Yes. Time to build the well. Oh, great place one. Like this might be on start player rather than. Oh no, it's probably on Reno. Yeah. I guess he doesn't have uh, resources for any different um, improvements. Where's where's Tim Pembo? Yeah, there it is. There there are the wells. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's an oblique reference. Oh, okay. Cuties. Uh this might be start player field. So I should take the three wood. And acquire a cattle at the start of the round for three food. First action, start player rotten plow. It's probably going to be the best move. Unless four wood. If four wood's available, I'll take the four wood. But yes, it's very likely to be the best move. Because we like family growth without room, and we like plow so. No, I don't have the six extra wood <laughs> that I illegitimately uh, <laughs> acquired. I could uh, start player field rather than rotten plow here. Yeah, because you know what? I'm only going to pl plow two more times with rotten plow and field gets me half of that and it doesn't come with the downside of the sowing. So yeah, I think I can start player field here. So tomorrow, two and Tuesday, my goal is going to be, I'm trying to get on an earlier schedule. 
So my goal is going to be to play, I have to play a game, a tournament game at four. So my goal is going to be to get two games in before then. So I'll probably start to try around noon tomorrow, noon Eastern, and try to get two games in before my uh, 4 p.m. game with Bigfoot, uh, Lumen, and Maruska. Montu needs a lot of stone. Yes, he does. Yeah, for his nail basket plus his stone house reno. Uh, so plow seems like a good option here. Decrease the sowing capacity for all your fields or just the fields? Uh, for all of them. Yeah, so the way it says, the way it's written is that from now on, whenever you sow, do blah, blah, blah. Because there's no, there, it's, there's not really a good practical way of remembering which fields were sown by, plowed by your rotten plow. Commercial bacon, so again, uh, so bake's blocked. Uh, Montu, so baked before my last move. Gray plays Chief's grandson. Some nice points there. Uh, I don't really care about Reedstone food. Building the joinery or the bask maker's workshop is appealing for food critic though, because it, it gets me more potentially more out of my food critic. Um, commercial baking is going to be a bunch of food. Assuming that I do another so bake action with itinerant labors though, it's not guaranteed that I'll do another so bake action. Probably two. I probably I have to take two wood in this round. Maybe I two wood and then fence ten. Although fence ten is not really very good in this game. I need to cover more spaces in the spaces than that. Two wood and then fence seven maybe. Ooh, Monty plays Hedgemaster. Great card. I mean the two wood doesn't require fence fencing ten, I suppose. I could just fence and see. A to K. Fence ten. Oh, fence ten big. That's a good point. Although this is similar. This is pretty similar. Yeah, the three read is appealing for Basque Maker's Workshop, but it requires several actions. It requires two stone or read stone food twice and the read. Yeah, two wood is probably okay. Or a commercial bake again. I fence seven, I need eight wood. Two wood is not ideal. I, the, I think the only real, really good alternative to two wood is, um, is, um, what am I trying to say? Only really good alternative to two wood is to take, um, to, to commercial bake. And the thing is, I'm at two grain already. The commercial bake is good if I bake more. You know what? I'm going to want to bake more. Sure. Let's commercial bake. Commercial bake, feed six, and then three food by a cattle. Round 12. Harvest. It is plow sow. Well, I should wheel four wood or two boar or two sheep. All of those are great moves for me. So plow sow looks great. Great looking move. Everyone, every animals will go first. Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's there. Yeah, I think these guys might all take a pair of animals immediately, and then I get four wood back. Although two sheep is the worst, but 
Montu maybe will start player even, start player for Plauso next round. So I think Acuity's taking the two boar here. Yeah, and then Montu might take two sheep or might take four wood or might start player. Start player for Plauso. And if Montu takes the four wood, I'll take the two sheep. Ooh, Reedstone food. I'll take the four wood. I don't think the two sheep are going to wheel, but four wood's a great move here. So yeah, I need one more wood action. And then I can do the rest of my fencing. Yeah, so I guess a cutie's not all that likely to take two sheep, unless a cutie needs four food, which they might. Montu already passed on two sheep once, so we'll see what Montu does. A cutie start player loom. Loom's nice. Don't need another wood action, it's only two points. Uh, yeah, that's true. But two points is two points, and I, I feel like I need point ceiling with this game. Because I'm already near my ceiling on crops and fields, so... Yeah, really good broom pull. Oh yeah, that's from Broom Loom. Good call. Really good call. Very nice pull for for the broom. So I don't want to turn my sheep. I want to let my sheep breed because I I want to keep a sheep at the end of the game and have one for food critic. So I'm think I'm still turning the cattle into a guest. Gray's going to play field on family growth. Yeah, that field card sure made its way around the board. Made its way around the table. I guess that's what happens when no one has a plow. So I could plow with my last move. Uh, otherwise, four reed is reasonable here for the basket makers workshop. Fish. Yes, fish will be good for me. Yep. Yeah. Montu will value the two stone actions pretty highly. So four reed is not great. Yeah, four reed is not great. Because Montu will value that those two stone actions. He might take the two two stone actions with his last two moves here. Three two of his last three moves. In which case, uh, you know what? Mm, yeah, let's try for the reed. The best maker's workshop will be pretty good with food critic. Gray could go for it. He could go for it. Worst case scenario, I could acquire a stone if I get Reedstone food one time. Three food, acquire a cattle, round 13. I'm probably going to want to acquire a boar in round 14. Acquiring a boar will probably be two, a two-point action. Unless there's two boar on the table, and I'm re reasonably certain that I will get them. So bake. Um, so bake for the food. Yeah. Thing is, who wants to so... I guess... A cutie might want to so bake this round. Yeah, that's true. Look, a gray doesn't really want to so bake. But a cutie... No, a cutie took plow so. So yeah, I think I'm going to get so bake late in this round. Montu won't plow. 
Uh, or sorry, Montu can't family growth, so I can family growth first move. Although the three stone actions are very appealing, but yeah, family growth is great. Yeah. Yeah, cutie so plow sowing there is good for me for sure. Cutie probably is supposed to family growth there over plow sow. But that's okay. If I don't get stone, I can take six clay and double build. I was thinking about building rooms. Yeah. Especially because the rooms cover more farmyard spaces, which means I don't need to take wood again. Family growth without first action, yes. And then I should wheel one of the stone actions or six clay. I think Montu's probably thinking about... Uh, Montu's um, thinking about if he needs to start player or not. Start player lumber. Well, I could definitely use Lumber if I'm going to get a three stone action. Yeah, it seems like a lot of work for four points, though. It's like f three, it's four moves. Uh, is it four moves for three points? It's the two clay actions, a read action, and the build room. So it's four actions for four points. At this point, it's two actions for two points because I've already of because of sunk costs, of course. But yeah, I get the three stone back, so I can build. I'd rather build the Basque Baker's workshop for food critic. I know I already took the read action. I know. So yeah, but I'm looking at grand scheme, you know. Because getting uh, eating the reed for food critic will be worth uh, will be definitely will be worth something, and also it does hurt Montu, which uh, he's not going to be too happy about. But I could read stone food and reno basket makers workshop. Am I worried about fencing? Nope, because I can read stone food and I have the option of reno fence or reno BMW. And then I also can fence in the last round still. Yeah, of course, Reno eats uh, Reno eats points from my read, but I might I might want to give myself the option of Reno fence is what I'm thinking. Turn a cattle into a guest. Yeah, so the thing is I can't Basket Maker's Workshop anymore. Because if Montu first action fences, I need to leave myself the option of Reno Fence next round. Mm. Build Basket Maker's Workshop here. You think so? I guess I'm threatening Acquire Stone. But the thing is I have to acquire the stone before I could fence. I don't think Montu's going to first action fence. But especially not with Nail Basket. I guess I can always take stone and then go on reno fence later in the round, next round. That's true. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I can basket maker's workshop and then last move fish or something or take two wood. I can acquire a stone. Yeah. Although I kind of want to acquire a boar, but I guess it'll be two boar available next round. Maybe. 
Unless some people take one boar here. I mean, I can always read stone food. If Matu first action fences, I can read stone food into Reno fence. So that would be okay. I, I, I don't even think I need to uh, acquire the stone. So bake last move might be okay. Bake a couple. Although if I bake grain, it is eating points. So I'm gonna wanna eat a vegetable. I'm gonna wanna eat a vegetable because it I wanna put a vegetable on food critic. In the last harvest, I'm gonna wanna eat a sheep to put food on food critic. So probably I let the sheep breed, then in round 14 I eat one of them and one of them becomes my animal farm guest. So that puts a sheep onto food critic, and then I put a vegetable onto food critic, and then I'm gonna eat a reed at some point, put it on food critic. So we're at five goods right now. Don't lose. Wait until I play two. <laughs> you coming after me, Sanswall? You throwing down the gauntlet? Wantu plays Ren oh, Renovator's nice here. Renovator's very nice. Yeah, so bake looks good. Mm, or take two wood. Mm. If I eat a vegetable. Yeah, no, I need to so bake. I need the food. And I'll bake both of them. It only gives up one point. And then harvest, breed, breed, feed seven. And then I can acquire, now I'd have to eat something to acquire. I'd have to eat a vegetable to acquire a boar, which I can do. Yeah, eat my vegetable and a food to acquire a boar. And then I can put the sheep into the guest token. VNF to acquire O. Yeah, I think I like that. Bake one more grain with the hearth. Oh, that's a good point. Need to acquire stone. Do I need to? I don't think I need to. There's no. Uh, I don't think Montu is going to Reno Fence first move. Uh, I may as well eat my reed now too. Because then, if I don't take reed in the last round, I can eat it again. Monty Reno fences, then I'll just regular fence. Yeah, exactly. Um, honestly, it's too late, and I didn't think of it myself. I forgot that I had the cooking hearth. That's okay. It's a two food difference, which might might matter, but. I, you never know. Maybe I get on so bake in the last round. Okay. So now I can start actually putting stuff on my farm. I'm waiting for Montu because the guest will go away at the start of round 14. Yeah. So there we go. Boar and guest. Yeah. I think that's correct. So I can send that. Read to critic. Yep, read needs to go on critic, and I'm gonna eat a sheep, and the sheep will go on critic. And vegetable goes on critic, and I can plow so. Yeah, plow so is maybe a little dangerous.
Um, I mean, Cutie will plow so if he can. Wonder if I should take three wood. Three wood to make to second move fence here rather than plow so. I guess plow so is three points, but not getting fence is pretty massive. I mean, fencing, I could still second move fence. Fence is only two points. Take, taking wood is only two points. So, yeah, go ahead and sow a vegetable here, I think. I think that works. Wood is two points, yep. So let's see if I get fencing back. <laughs> yeah, fence might be the safer. Fence might have been the safer play. That's true. I mean, it's a pretty awful move for Montu to fence block, considering he's got uh, Nail Basket and Reno Fence available. But if he does want to build an improvement, then maybe Reno Fence is not great. For an extra point. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, he does get an extra point if he does that. But Montu decided to play it safe and just regularly reno fence. So I'll go ahead and fence six here. Um, yeah, uh, the thing is, stables are not that much worse, I think, at this point. Like, certainly fencing is five points. Fencing would have been five points for me, but then I can, um... Oh, Matu's farm did an update. I didn't realize he had fenced five that way. That's true. Yeah, I, I still saw wood on his farm. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, you're right about that. I could have taken another two-point move. Here, we can move our cattle in here and our boar over here. I mean, I'm, I changed a two-point move to a one-point move, but you're right. Yeah, the thing is, so, so three stables would have been... So it's minus two points. So I risked, I, I gained three points from my plow so, and I risked giving up two points. So, I don't know. I think I'm probably okay if I get blocked. It's not that big of a difference. Cutie's going to reno field. I think Domba. Yeah. Domba and Turnbar were talking about that. It was a couple weeks ago. Fishing does seem good. Yep. Fishing is, yeah, two points. Fishing, commercial baker is one point. Two read is one point. So I have a bunch of one point moves here.
Ooh, Montu's got Mason here. Ooh, six rooms. That's pretty good. Six room stone house, very potent. So when it when it's when I take fishing. Next time use fishing. So I get all the food off of fishing. I just get to put the food here as well. So that's pretty handy. I'll eat a sheep for another two food for a six point food critic. Montu's first turn, he Gray deliberately took traveling players over fishing when someone had a fish combo to put pressure on the person low on food. Montu worked very well. Which which tournament was that? The first Montu Invitational or whatever? Ooh, Scrounger for Acuity. Okay, so not eating my reed has value, so I should be taking three wood. I can take wood for three points, yep. So that wood action would have been even better. Would have been five points. A, a. Yeah, you should tell him that, Medino. You should. You should message people. Like getting messages like that. Because sometimes if you stream and there's no one watching or no one chatting, you're like, eh, whatever. You're not too motivated to do it again. Oh, good. Good. Three points from Scrounger. So last action could be Plow, could be Two Read, could be um, Commercial Baker. So I'll just Plow, I guess. Feed some. Read my cattle. And I have whatever I score plus nine. This looks like fifty one. Uh it says forty three. Where did fifty two come from? Anyways, forty three looks like fifty two here. I do have a sheep on critic. Yeah, I, I ate it outside of the turn. I didn't actually put it on there. So I have a maxed uh, maxed food critic. I was only one ahead of gray without scrounger. Yep, and so the fence block would have been very impactful. You're right about that. It was tighter than I thought, to be honest. Gray ended up with a nice, uh, nice farm. I did co cost myself two points for no reason. I did, yep. Montu scored 49. So if Montu stable, if Montu fence blocks me, I wonder if Gray wins. That might have been uh, been the final. Montu says 49 final for me. Plowso over family growth was an error. Gray couldn't uh, plowso for much value, but he got family growth. 
Yeah, probably I should fence. First move. Uh, so 52, 48, 30 something, 39, 49. All right, GG. Yeah, talking about, we're talking about two different things. Montu's got milking hand. Ooh. So me hitting all the cattle was tough for him. Yeah, so I really needed point sealing with this hand. Yeah, ending up with only a two-room clay house. Um, definitely you need point sealing. And I didn't get uh, Basket Maker's Workshop. I didn't get any bonuses out of it. But the stone oven in the well and the, the food critic especially was massive. The food critic was really... Really very good for me this game. But yeah, imagine if family growth came in round seven. Like I you know the animal farm coming out in round five was pretty big. Didn't end up playing that many minor improvements. I guess I didn't I didn't start player hardly at all this game. Alright, GG guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Um uh, I'm going to be done for today. And yeah, I'm done for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow around noon, um, noon Eastern. We'll be doing two in Tuesday. If I can't get a game like right around noon, then I'll probably have to wait until two o'clock to start just because I have to be available to play at four. So I can't really start a game too much after two o'clock. Uh, so yeah. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, thank you very much to Tim Pembo for the sub as well. See ya.